Simple video manipulation in GEM is, well, quite easy. We'll use an object to slide the movie left, right, up, down, and forward and backward, and we'll use an object to apply pitch, yaw, and roll to the movie. I've got a patch that I used earlier. It's a simple PixFilm patch that's got two videos, and the videos are drive-in movie clips from archive.org. And I've got a PixMix uh, patch here that lets me fade between them. Um, so let's go ahead and stop these and now apply translate XYZ. What translate XYZ does is it allows us to slide the movie left, right, up, down, or forward and backward. So we'll apply it right before the rectangle. Remember that the film here, the pix film, is being rendered onto this rectangle. So we're actually going to apply the transforms onto the rectangle. So in between pix texture and translate, we'll apply, or and rectangle, we'll apply translate. Give ourselves a little room, make a number box, and then each inlet after the first is X, Y, and Z respectively. Okay, so lock the patcher and shift click, and you can see I'm moving on the X axis. And then I'll move it on the Y axis. And as you would expect, the next one moves it on the Z axis. Okay, so Z is forward and backwards in space. All right, so the other object that we'll use to attain pitch, yaw, and roll is rotate XYZ. Same thing, X, Y, Z, connect your number box to try it out, okay. And finally, Z. Okay, so those are some pretty, uh, very, pretty simple ways to manipulate the rectangle itself. Um, you can apply some really cool techniques using incoming audio as input. So what I'll do is I'll take ADC in and I'll apply it as the rotate X, Y, and Z parameters. I'll connect this. Actually, let me go ahead and create a message box of zero for my reset. And I'll connect it to each of the inlets. Okay, so now when I want to, I'll click the zero, it'll reset um, the options. So now I've got my audio on off, and I'll go ahead and turn the DSP on. And you're, this is going to take in my voice, and I'm not going to pipe it out to the DAC because I don't need to hear my voice going into um, PD. So now I'll create ADC with a tilde, and follow it with ENV as in Victor, ONV. So this is taking the incoming signal into PD, and I'm tracing the, its envelope, or its loudness here, amplitude more appropriately. And I can see I'm getting these floats, they're between 0 and 100. I'm never really going to hit below 30 or so, because the room isn't that quiet. Okay, now, if I apply this to any one of the parameters, watch what happens. So as I talk, you can see the movie moves appropriately. It's a bit jittery, so what I'll do is I'll use a line to smooth it out. So I'll create a line object, and then create a message of dollar sign one, let's say 50 milliseconds. So this will interpolate values and should give us a bit smoother response. And I'll show you how we can smooth it out even more. So as I talk, you can see it's not as jittery. If I increase the duration part of the message, let's say I increase it to 1,000, so 1,000 milliseconds, then it becomes very smooth. And if I increased it to, let's say, 10,000, 10 seconds, then it would, be, it would barely move, and if we were quiet, it would move back into place. We'll change it back to 50 milliseconds, and there we see a nice response with the voice coming in. 
So what's really cool about this technique is it kind of has a talking head um, sort of effect to it, and we can apply it to any parameter. So let me reset the movie. And if I apply it, if I change this from rotate Z to translate Z, or X, Y, Z, and I'll put it on the Z, watch what happens. Now it's barely there because the values are too small. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to scale this so that the numbers are between 0 and uh, 1. That'll give us something we can actually see. Okay, so we'll move the line component down and we'll multiply these numbers by 0 0.01. Now pipe that into line. We are, and we'll reset the image by hitting zero. Okay, and then take the output and put it into Z. So now when I speak and I speak louder, the image uh, becomes bigger. And if I let it get quiet, the image becomes smaller. And what's really great here is I can actually play the movie and we'll see that the movie is zooming in and out with my voice um, and reacting to it. And as well, I could fade in and out. And hey, while we're at it, we could actually apply this fade or this um, voice to the fade. So as I talk louder, you'll get more of the second movie. If I talk softer, you'll get more of the first movie. It's very subtle, and I don't want to scream into the microphone and hurt your ears. But if you had a loud enough impulse, it would push the um, slider all the way to the right. And if it was quiet enough, it would push it all the way to the left. So there you see some really simple ways to manipulate images in GEM in terms of sliding the image around, uh, rotating the image with pitch yaw and roll, and then using uh, dynamic data to make those um, animations, manipulations a bit more natural, I suppose, and give you some ideas for quick and easy creativity.